Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe. Then the main event was Gunther and Randy Orton for the WWE world title. And, you know, I thought the fans were going to be way more into Gunther than they were. I mean, they cheered him, but, I mean, they were into Randy Orton. And they sang his song all the way down to the ring. They did go they crazy. Were, they were, I think they were more into Gunther than Randy. But, but I mean, when, I will say, when Randy hit the RKO, they wanted him to win. Oh, yeah. You know, like, they, they – um, but when Gunther won, it was like they were – absolutely fine with Gunther winning I mean it was um it was one of those you know it was basically they like both guys yes they, they that, chanted for both guys and I, I I I thought that they would be for both guys I knew they weren't going to boo Gunther in in Germany um and but Brandy's really really popular right now especially in Europe and the singing of the song is over and he's just very very over right now so um you know they weren't going to boo him and then again like really it's WWE crowd. They really don't boo people, you know, other than like, you know, the, the, the Dominic booing, but it's like the Dominic booing is, 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 is kind of almost like, you know, positive, you know, it's almost like we boo him because we're supposed to, you know, it's, it's like, um, it's, it's, it's an audience, especially when they go out of the United States, it's an audience. They just like everybody. They like the fact it's WWE, but this was the epitome of it, you know, like in Rhodes and, and uh, Kevin Owens, they didn't boo Cody, you know, they didn't boo. Well, they're Kevin. too babyface, of course not. Yeah, but I mean, it, but, but they booed but Drew McIntyre and. But in that in that style of match, you know, you're supposed to boo the the, the champion. You know, I mean, that's the thing. They didn't boo the champion, you know, because you're rooting for the title change, you're rooting for the happening. There was something that they did. Um, I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, God, I just forgot what. It, um, oh, okay, it actually had to do with that when. If, if and when Kevin turns on Cody, you know everyone's going to cheer. Of course. Yeah, because they want to see that. People want to see the happening. That, yes. I mean, more than babyface heel, they want to see the happening. That's that's the deal right now. Well, they had a very professional, old-school, pro-wrestling match, and it went like 35 minutes. And I will yep. say it did not feel like a 35-minute match. did not seem that long. And they went very, they went very, very slow. That's why. That's what. That's Okada's secret. You know, it's like, um, you go, you go a lot. You go, you go like slow. Not slow as molasses, but you go slow, slightly slow. Dick Murdoch was really good at this. You know, you go, you go a little bit slow, and all of a sudden you're eating up a lot of time. In this match, like you could really see they were doing a lot of stuff to eat time. You know, um, and I mean it was really well done. Like it didn't. I mean, it was, um, you know, it was a, it was a great match. Um, I, you know, again, and very clean finish, you know, choke. Yeah, Took the finish, long. the finish I mean, was when you great. Got a guy, when you got a guy to choke, you know, he should go out. You know what I mean? He should go out. Like, it shouldn't be like five minutes in the choke. Like, you could do five minutes in an abdominal stretch or something, or five minutes, five minutes in figure four is a little too long, too. But, but a choke, it's like, you know, we've seen too many fights. You're in the choke. If you're in the choke, you go out. And, uh, you know, Randy fought it and fought and fought it, and then he finally went out. Yeah, they went back and forth for a long time. They each got heat on the other, each made comebacks, and then finally at the end got dueling chance, and Randy gave Gunther a super back suplex. Like, he normally does it on the table, but he did off the steps onto the table, and the table had just exploded. And he throws him into the ring. He goes for the RKO, but Gunther tosses him off and puts him in the sleeper. And so Orton runs him back into the corner to break the hole, but Gunther won't let go. He tries to roll his way out. Gunther won't let go. He peels the top arm off. Gunther ends up chopping him in the back, puts the sleeper back on, hits a couple of the BCC elbows, puts the choke back on, and uh, Orton finally falls backwards to break the hold. But then Gunther does the Undertaker zombie sit-up, puts him back in the hold, puts the hooks in, and Orton went out. And so uh, Gunther beats him clean and decisively and yeah. uh, retains the title. And then afterwards, they do the big stare down. Gunther puts the hand out. Randy Orton shakes his hand. The place goes nuts. And that's the match. So even though Gunther's a heel and Orton's a babyface, in this city, on this day, they were both babyfaces. And so we had a babyface finish. And they shook hands, and the fans were so happy to see sportsmanship from these two guys. And uh, it was great. It was great. Mm -hmm. So that was the bash in Berlin. Yeah, there was um, some interesting stuff. 
Um, press conference. So, so Levesque was not at the press conference. Um, I don't know if he was at the show, but um, he wasn't you know, at the show because his daughter was uh, its first day of college. Yeah. His, his daughter, yeah, his daughter's going to college. So, which I remember when she was born. My God, didn't feel like it was 18 years ago, but I guess it was. But um, Aurora Rose, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so he wasn't there. So Cody kind of react is is I guess he's the heir. You know, he was he was in Triple H role, the biggest gate arena gate in the history of the company. So that's um, I didn't get a number, but that's we're, we're you know, it's in the mid threes. I would I would think you know I mean it's it's uh, it, which tells you how high the ticket prices were because it was thirteen thousand in the building, which probably means like twelve thousand paid, and you've got the you know twelve thousand paid is your biggest arena gate ever. You know, well, if it's just, if it's three point five million, let's just say at twelve thousand paid, we're talking about just under three hundred dollars a ticket average, not three hundred for your your best seats, your average ticket price. So, pretty damn high ticket prices. Although hell, you know, UFCs are much much higher than that, and they sold out. So you know, you can't say, you know, you can't say it's overpriced when you sell out inherently. And the reality is, because they sold out at this price, the next time they go, they're gonna charge more because. They're hot and they can get it. Um, but um, he was asked about Jan the Janelle Grant lawsuit. I mean, I was not, you know, I mean, should have been, you know, they should have been asked about that at every pay-per-view. But uh, he was asked, he was asked what the locker room thinks. So um, I think that the gist, I mean, he, he basically gave an on-answer, you know, just like, uh, um, you know, we're, we're so busy going to, from show to show that we just don't have time to think about this, which is, you know, I, I'm sure every single person in that roster has had time to think about this. And um, but it, it again, like when the, the question was like, what does the locker room think? And you really can't give an answer because the reality is, is that everyone it's it's not like this unified locker room. It's like, what does the locker room think about, you know, the presidential race? Well, some people think this and some people think that, you know what I mean? It's it. And with this one, I'm sure that there's people, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, based on how loyal you are, you know, do the, does the locker room believe Janelle Grant? And it's like, I'm sure that there's people who are loyal to Vince who are going to give him the benefit of the doubt in every situation. But, you know, it's like, why is nobody commenting on it? The reason no one's commenting on it is because they, they're not, they're not allowed to comment on it, essentially. I mean, you know, you, you, you know, it's, it, it, it'd be career suicide to basically, you know, you're not, I mean, they're not allowed. It's an ongoing legal issue and they can't comment on it. And he did the best that he could. But I mean, as far as like, um, you know, the people that I've talked to there or that I've heard from there, you know, I mean, put it this way. It's not that they're too busy and it's not that they don't know. Every single person has an opinion. Um, of the ones that I have been in contact with, most are, you know, completely disgusted, just so you know. Um, they're not, there are people who are not, um, and there are people who, you know, again, especially the ones who have probably had more time in the business and just look, you know, like the, 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 a lot of the women were, were completely disgusted by it. Um, and of course they would be right. And I'm not, and you know, and they should be, and, and everyone should be for that matter. Um, but I mean, as far as, um, the ones who have been around for decades, you know, I mean, to them, you know, it's like, what do you expect? It's Vince McMahon, you know, especially if you've been around Vince McMahon, what do you expect? It's Vince McMahon, you know, that's kind of, you know, I mean, it's it's like, I can't say that they were repulsed or disgusted, um, but, you know, I mean, it's 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 not like they freaked out or anything like that either over it. There, there were absolutely were people who did, you know, like when they read that and they were just completely, you know, disgusted. Some were torn up, you know, in, in a sense of, you know, Vince has helped me, you know, whatever. And, um, and I'm sure there's people who are, you know, um, very loyal to Vince still. Um, but I, I would think that I would hope that that's the minority, but, um, you know, they exist too. So, but there's no unified, what does the locker room think that you can even answer that question. But, um, you know, I mean, somebody asked it, Cody basically very smoothly, very smoothly got out of it. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm trying to think that there's, they didn't really, um, there was anything else really of any substance that I could remember in the press conference. Um, 
people are trying to make Jade basically saying she was tired of at, you know answering questions about AEW as some side of the thing. She probably is just tired of answering questions about AEW and she's got every right to be tired of it. Um, you know, I guess it's you probably shouldn't do that to the press. You know, it kind of doesn't. It's not. It's not um, what you would do, I suppose, if you were um, well schooled in PR and everything. But you know, long tour and everything like that. Um, there you go. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.